Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Vex in the Shell. So I've got a really useless colonist that can't even... that can't fight, and they can't haul, they can't clean. Um... And you know, you know, maybe, if that was the only thing, I'd, I'd, I might keep them. But not only can they not fight haul or clean they're also a slowpoke and a pessimist which means they just permanently have a mood debuff um so i am going to banish this person and it's this little button right here which i've never used before actually later thanks for the stuff though You are not wanted. Leave. Get thine useless ass out of here. Not to mention, I'm living off these packaged survival meals and I don't have a fridge built yet. And, I mean, I've still got 110 of them, but a third person would increase my resource usage rate by 50%. And, uh, that's not exactly what I'm going for here. Alright, I've actually got sandstone now. That is amazing. Okay, um... Sandstone. How much do I have? Uh, enough to start, anyway. Alright, let's start. I'm gonna, uh... Conver eventually convert all these wood walls into... into sand... into sandstone walls, I think. This is sandstone too, isn't it? That's granite. Alright, mm, architect. Separate that. Build that. That. And we'll tear all this down and get this stuff converted. Did you trap yourself? He trapped himself. Amazing. Good job, Vex. Way to go, dude. Alright, I think this is plenty big enough for a refrigerator for my, you know, small colony. Um, there's compacted steel behind that. Uh, well, we've got plenty of steel for now, so... But it's good to keep in mind that there's resources in... I mean, I, obviously there's resources in the walls. Um, and our power situation is, I think, for these, you know, this little little area here, this is okay. Uh, so I've got a battery and I've got a solar panel. So during the night, you know, it charges up the uh, charges off the battery or it uses the battery. Um, you know what I mean. actually have a halfway decent bedroom. Um, furniture. Let's go ahead and build a second bed in here for Annabelle. Bulk trader from Esevbia. Well, that's, that's a hell of a name. A wanderer joins. Oh, rough child. I don't want rough child. And a cargo pod has fallen. Do I want to send my people up there just to get that sandstone when I've got sandstone? That's a long way to walk for that. Oh, it looks like my... putting my thing here is, has worked, apparently. Um, I guess they come up to the edge of the trap. Alright, Vex, go talk to him. Alright, what's this guy want? He's a bulk goods trader. Alright. Well, I typically always buy components when I can, and do I want to buy something for Annabelle to wear? Maybe 
Maybe that Devil Strand jacket? And it gives you cold insulation. I could really use heat insulation, so I really want, like, like a cowboy hat, and... Does that give heat insulation? That actually makes it worse. So I'll get a cowboy hat for Anna. Um, and I have an insatiable appetite for components, pretty much. Um, I want all of the components ever. And I think I have plenty of steel. I don't think I need to buy steel. Uh, but I do need to raise money and balance this trade out. Uh, I'll sell the chem fuel. Don't think I'll need it. And we'll sell this rice. Yep, I'll sell the rice. We don't have a fridge built yet, so it's just going to decay anyway. I may as well sell it and get money, because the money doesn't decay. And we still have enough packaged meals to last us a bit. Uh, ooh, do I want the neutroamine? I don't think we need it yet. I'll accept this trade. And then Vex, I want you to go talk to Cole, the other trader. Do they have components I can buy? Yes, they do. Give them to me, please. Um, and I think I'll give you the beaver skin. And maybe this mega sloth wool. And... There's another cowboy hat. give you these poor pants and maybe this crappy shirt there we go so your heat tolerance is up to 104 that helps a lot and wasted some material. Come on, Annabelle, you can do better. There you go, good girl. Oh, you failed again. Maybe she shouldn't be constructing. What's your... Three? You know, yeah, it's okay. You can, you, you need to learn. It's an important skill to have. Alright, it looks like my... fridge is done. So that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, we're gonna put the vents... We're going to have to put the vents here. And I'm betting that is a four... four-man job. Um, four-unit job, maybe I should say. Uh, I did this wrong. power than this. And I hate to say it, but I think I've misplaced this one. I'm going to need to tear it down and rebuild it. We will need much more power. And we can put the caravan spot like out here in the yard and then delete this one. Uh, there we go. I guess that works. Um, I'll have to tie that in there, and then we'll need... We'll probably use another battery, too. Uh, 
Um, I'd rather have a, a better room for the for the batteries, actually. In, in fact, um, let's make a battery room here. Let's see. Maybe like that. Put the batteries in there to keep them safe. Is that power reaching that? Oh yeah, it's close enough, huh? That's that's cool. All right, so um, zone. I'm gonna make this a stockpile zone. Except we're not, are we? Can do that. And this. You may be wondering why I just did that. Um, so this is going to be, we're going to clear everything. Um, all food goes in here and animal corpses go in here. Here, this is just for meals. Only meals go right here, up at the front. And this, this is a reserve area that's only for animal corpses. Um, the reason I did this, uh, you'll see, but it basically reserves places in the freezer just for certain objects to make sure there's always room for them. Uh, it's an important thing to do. At which point, we are going to select these four, and we are going to turn their temperature down to 30. And uh, we're going to stagger them. We're going to do a little trick here. I'm going to pause this. So they're all using high power right now. Uh, well, except for this one. It's weird. But anyway. Um, we're going to have these two be set to 32. And so basically what happens is... These two turn off as soon as it hits 32 or lower. But these two try to keep it at 30. And so it's at 30 right now. It's, well, it's fluctuating between like 30, 31. Um, so what happens is these two kind of keep running all the time. These two switch to idle mode and draw only one-tenth the power. Um, and they'll only, they'll only turn on if it starts heating up. And these two these two coolers here can't handle it. Um, so basically these are kind of in standby and these are active. Uh, it's, a, it's a good trick to do. Alright, I'm gonna make a battery room here. I'll save the uh, more durable granite for um, for outside the base, I think. Um, three batteries should be enough for now, I think. Alright, so, uh, I got the battery room done. I put down a stockpile zone for sandstone chunks to get them closer to the workbench. Um, and I got a notification. Uh, okay, that's great. But I got a notification. Haku, Hakuja, chief of the Amkabo of the desert, has sent us a message. She wants to talk with us in a nearby location. Um... So, peace talks with the Amkabo faction. Uh, let's see where the peace talks are. Uh, okay. 
So what faction is this? What color is the Amcabo? Oh, they're the green dudes, and they're hostile. So actually, this is a great thing because they do have a they do have a base right next to mine, and having them like not be hostile would be kind of nice. So I think Vex might be going on his first expedition. Uh, we'll just need to take uh, take enough food for it. And we'll have to leave Annabelle here to mine the mine the base, which is, I mean, I hope she can handle that. Um, she pretty much just, I mean, she can she can't smith, tailor, or cra Ugh, she can't craft, and she can't research. She can maybe hunt, but as long as she can as long as she can grow and cook, she'll be okay. Um, So yeah, uh, I will need to take packaged meals with me though. So I think we're gonna go ahead and head out on this peace talk. All right, well, uh, something happened. Aha, uh, uh -huh. right. Uh, we got an escape pod. So let's see, a 55-year-old male. He's incapable of cooking, firefighting, or cleaning. He's wow. He's got some decent stats, but oh, he's a misogynist, a brawler, and a pessimist. And he's right next to a bug nest. And Annabelle's got a shiv. Not just a shiv. She's got like a 46% like crappy, halfway dead shiv. Oh, guys. I don't know. He's got two ba really bad traits. Pessimist, he's a misogynistic pessimist. Oh! He's really good at, at like research and, and crafting and stuff, though, but... You know, if he was right next to my base, I'd think about it, but damn... He's right next to the fucking bug nest. I'm sorry, dude. You're screwed. I, I, I'm not getting these bricks because they're too close to the bug nest. Maybe if Vex was here, but I'm not sending Annabelle out there to... I mean, for one, that's going to take her, like, all the entire day to get out there. And then if the, bu if the bugs aggro on Anna, she's dead. She's just... She cannot fight them. At sh what the fuck? A fault in an electrical line has got a short circuit. Oh, crap. Anna, wake up. Anna. Firefighting. Priority numero uno. Oh, put those fires out, Anna. You can do it. Get, get the big one right here. Get the big one right here. Anna's being burned by superheated air. Shit. Can she put this fire out by herself? She needs to get out of this room. Like, right the F now. I might have to load a save game, guys. Do I... Anna's gonna die. Nope, I'm not gonna let her die. Uh, so, fun fact. Loading the game apparently causes it to crash with that resolution error message if I'm running fraps. So that, that was funny. Okay, we're back, and... We've got the fire. Okay, so I think I need to... 
it's really hot in here. I think I need to go get the the big ones out first, right? got to get her out of this room. But I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, so here's an I have an idea. It's okay in this room. What if I deconstruct these walls to prevent the fire from spreading? Is that smart? pick up the grab the wood and take it away um, architect zone delete zone if I carry that over there um, I think doing. She's got minor heat stroke. And she's got some burns. Let's try and grab that wood right there and see if we can grab it. It's getting it's getting super hot in this room. I need to get her out of this room. Let's try and grab grab that right there, that turret and the components and get them out away from the fire and we'll just let the fire I guess burn and take its course and then I'll order her maybe to go into the freezer. He's got serious heat stroke. Okay. Alright, grab the components. Actually, fuck it. We're, we're out. We're out. Damn it. And we're back. Okay. Uh, fuck. What do I do? I don't know what to do. She, she apparently can't put out the fire fast enough. I should have switched. I I didn't. I was gonna. I was going to switch the base from all to all sandstone walls instead of wood, because this is the problem with fucking wood. It burns. Surprise, surprise. Um. I will delete this stockpile zone. Um. I think that's a lost cause. This whole this whole chamber here. I think my best bet is to tear down this. Cause I, I'm I can't I can't waste time trying to fight that fire. I've got no choice but to uh, try to tear down the wall to stop it from spreading basically. No, 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 no. Do not fucking go over there, Anna. You idiot. Get away from that shit. And it's gonna play this nice calming, calming music, too. Thanks, RimWorld. Asshole game. Alright. Prioritize hauling wood. Prioritize hauling wood. Just take it and put it... Yep. Yeah, put it over there. Great. Um, can you go grab that wood? And grab the medicine. Jesus. Um, grab that wood right there. Next, that one. Next, that one. No! No! 
Get away from the fucking fire. God. Don't, don't, just don't firefight at all. Okay, uh... Tearing down. Next up, uh, what's the temperature in here? Because it's open to the air, I think it's, it's... We're gonna tear down, like, these wooden... Are these sandstone plant pods? They're sandstone. I think they're okay. Uh, haul the wood. Get the wood away from the fire. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna eat your food right there? How about you haul the wood instead? Alright. Alright. No, you're done. You're done. We're out. Alright, let's see what the damage is. Oh, please don't burn up my turrets. Hopefully the steel won't burn. And the sandstone won't burn. It might cause a roof collapse, actually, now that I think about it. Annabelle, what are you doing? Don't go in there, you dumbass! Get back out there! You idiot! Just, just go. You're, just go over, just go over there in the corner. Get away. <laughs> oh, please, oh shit. Come on, don't, don't burn that. There's grass right there, it's gonna spread. Fuck! Oh, shit. The solar panels are flammable? Really? Really, game? The solar panels are flammable? Oh, there goes my entire resource stockpile. Annabelle, do you want to run in there and grab a pack of food so you don't starve to death? I mean, you've got food in there, I guess, but... Sucks. This sucks so bad. Can you make it in there to grab that? At least so you can have a stack of food for yourself. She's got initial heat stroke. It's climbing pretty quickly. You need to get the fuck out. What are you doing? No! What are you doing? That's gonna kill you! Oh, I see. Oh, never mind. There's a there's already a storage area in there for that shit. Okay, you, all your food's just gonna burn up too, I guess. Vex is gonna be so pissed off when he comes back. How's Vex doing, by the way? Oh, he's almost to the peace talks. Great. Yep, there's the there's the roof collapse. I saw that coming. Good. The entire stockpile of everything is burning. Amazing. Excellent, Annabelle. Well, Annabelle, I suppose you can shiv that monkey and eat him if you have to. Oh, this is so bad. This is the worst. This is the worst fire. This is the worst fire I've ever seen. And Annabelle has an infection. Hey, how about that Glitter World medicine? Annabelle? 
Annabelle, you, that, that medicine, that, 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 you lost the medicine, didn't you? Oh, fuck you, game. Uh, some, some of the packaged survival meals lived. She's relaxing socially. That's good. That's what you need to do. Uh, actually, what you need to do is treat your frickin... How's your med... You actually have good medicine skill. If I can find some wild heal root, you can treat your infection. Um, where is some? How far am I going to have to go for this shit? Oh. This game. This fucking game, guys. Well, at least it's not too easy, huh? Seriously, though, where the flip is the heal root? Is there just none on this map? Anywhere? God, Vex is gonna be pissed. Oh, man. Anna, I hope he doesn't shoot you. Oh. I had the foresight to plant some. Amazing. Uh, so if I harvest it early, like that one, do I do I just I, I think I think I get a reduced amount, but I just want like one. Yes. Uh, needs health. Uh, you can self tend. There you go. God Almighty. Yes, you need to treat your infection, you dumbass. And I think we'll need to manually harvest some of these early, because she'll need a steady supply of medicine. And probably bed rest too. So will your immunity outpace the infection timer is the question. So there's two numbers there ticking up. There's infection major and then there's immunity. And they're gonna they're in a race to hundred percent. And as long as immunity gets there first, she'll be fine. And I think she's pulling ahead. I think the tending will need. I think she's done okay with that. So as long as she gets plenty of bed rest, she'll fight off this infection. What the fuck was that? There's an eclipse. I know about the disease. There's a roof collapse. Oh, cargo pods. What's in the cargo pods? High explosive shells. Yes! Yes, I want high explosive shells in my base for the next fire. So that next time there's a base destroying fire, they can detonate and just kill everybody. That sounds fucking awesome. Let's do that. That's a great idea. Heh, 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 heh. Look at my fucking base. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm slightly upset. But hey, um, on the bright side, I get to rebuild it better. Yeah. Amazing. Let's see how her infection's doing. It needs treatment again. Yep. Um, you, I hate to say this, but you need to wake up and go get more of that healing stuff, because if you don't have it, you're going to die. You need to... You need to... Tending... Yeah, you need to prioritize tending... Yeah, treat that. There you go. Now go back to sleep. Now you should be okay. No, you need to fucking sleep. Bed rest. Maximum bed rest priority. Go to sleep. As long as you stay in the bed... I think you'll beat the infection. Yeah, there you, there you go. Wow. That's close as shit. Look at that. Yep. She only beat it by like 7% or something. Alright, you can get out, get the, get out of bed. You're fine. Fex. Buddy. How's it going?
Well, I mean, I guess she can construct. I mean... Holy shit. What the hell? Caravan meeting. Uh... Trade? Cool. I have no money. Bye. I thought we were there. Well, we've got enough food to get there. Annabelle's repairing everything. Good job, Annabelle. Yes, repair that shit. You've got food. Let's get the, um... Did my components burn up? I think they did. Yeah, I've got three components here. That's not enough for anything. That's enough for one solar panel, I think. And she'll probably fail at building it. Well, I guess we may as well fix the base up, huh? Alright, so... So here's our double insulated wall. Alright. This goes into the... Into the kitchen here. Well, she's going to get a buttload of construction XP, I suppose. And then... It's built there. Uh, and so... I like how the, the, the stone flower pots didn't burn. That's cool. She's going to suck at this. You almost there, Vex? You're so friggin' slow. And the thing is, is like, you're you're really fast, is, is the thing. Your movement isn't... He has enhanced movement. Like, a normal person would have taken twice as long to do this shit, I think. Another caravan. I've got plenty of steel at least. So that's I've got that going for me, I guess, which is nice. Um install this. Yeah, 
Annabelle, you're gonna you're gonna end up eating like animals raw in a little bit. But whatever. Vex is almost to the peace talks. Why did they have to hold them in some sort of asshole location like this? Their settlement is literally right there. I could have just walked to their settlement. The peace talks were a success. Amazing. Oh, there's more peace talks. Hey, you can go to those now. Great job, Vex. And you've still got five survival meals, so you can... Hey, you can make it there before your food runs out. And then I'm going to want you to camp, and after you camp, then I'm going to need you to hunt for your own food for a bit and restock your food from local wildlife. Um, and I think you can actually cancel cutting those, actually. Let's... Well, at least she won't starve because she can eat raw rice. You know, she won't be happy about it, but it's better than starving. Um, this stupid emu castle is going to eat my rice. Alright. Um, architect temperature. I know we don't have the components for this, but... I can at least attempt to uh, rebuild them. gonna deconstruct this stupid fucking wood. What a mess. God, what a mess. Oh yeah, the butchering table. That might be handy to have. At least they have their bedroom still. I guess. So that, that's nice. God almighty. Well, I suppose I'll let this run for a bit, and uh, we'll try to get Bex, Vex back to base. And uh, I'll see you guys next episode, where we attempt to rebuild from this complete destruction. Until next time, as always, take it easy.